today I wanted to show you how I've been making some painty papers. This is a large uh, eight, 12 inches by 18 inches. Comes 30 sheets in a pack. And I get these at Dollar Tree. And it's like a, a construction paper kind of stuff. But it is whitish. It's not that the yellow that you usually see. It, it's white. It's thin, but you know, by the time you get paint and other stuff on it, it gets kind of thick. So I'm going to show you what I've been working on lately. This is some that I've already been using some off of. And this is a cheap way to do this. Okay. You got one sheet of paper. And what you're going to do is just take and crumple the whole thing up into a nice ball. Like that. Okay? Then you're going to carefully unfold it so you don't tear it. And just smooth it out. Now, if any of you guys have made those Fatty Patty uh, composition notebook projects that are going around, which I'm starting one, and you don't have the, uh, in fact I'll show you, I just got my Fatty Patty fluffed today. This is my Fatty Patty. This is a composition notebook, 100 sheets of paper, and I've got them all wrinkled and fluffed. But I don't really have ink pads. And I'm not going to go buy anything. So, this is what I'm going to do. This is the way I'm going to do it. Bear with me for a minute while I make up a little palette here. I'm just using old sheets out of a textbook. Old sheets out of a textbook folded. And that's my palette, okay? So I'm going to put that over to the side here. I'll show you in just a second here. My paintbrush, so to speak, is this. This is an old uh, driver's license. They're pretty thin. Um, as you can see, I've used it quite a bit. There's a lot of paint on it. This is my tool today. So, let's see. Let's go with purple. And this is just uh, craft paint from Walmart. This one happens to be Apple Barrel um, in a Concord grape color. Figured that would show up pretty well. Okay. So, I'm going to it's getting empty. Just spread some out. Now, any kind of a credit card, you could probably use a spatula. Just about anything will probably work. Um, that's nice and flat. Uh, plasticky. And I'm just going to do a thin coating on one side. Just a thin coating. Okay? And then hold it flat and lightly drag it across. So if you don't have ink pads, but you want that look that they're all getting on those fatty patties, and that you got grass paint and something flat and hard that you can use, like an old credit card, an old driver's license. This is all you need. A piece of plastic. You could cut the lid off of a butter tub or something. Um, and that would work just fine. And you just go over it lightly. And I'm just, I'm just dabbing into the paint at this point. 
the more paint you have on it, the more the more paper it's actually going to cover. So if you want it to cover more, put more paint on it. I'd rather go lightly, and then I can always go back and do an area again if I want to. See? So I've got light, light and dark areas. And you can go, you know, swirl it around however you want to. I don't have much of a budget. Right now I have no budget. Need to sell some stuff on eBay. But it was kind of a slow Christmas season. It started out good, but then it kind of went down. I don't know if I just don't have what people are looking for or, or what the deal is. I'm going to do just a little bit more here. Anyway, at my Walmart, these paints are 50 cents a piece for the matte finish, which is what I prefer to use. Um, if I'm going to, especially if I'm going to be gluing something down on it, because the uh, gloss will, if it's two facing pages, they'll stick to each other. And the glue. The stick glue, glue sticks, don't usually stick very well to them. I end up having to use tacky glue, which is okay, but sometimes I don't want to use tacky glue. I'd rather have, you know, that, that look like it's not glued, so I want to use the glue stick and the matte finish paint just works better. Okay, now, we're going to let this dry, and I'll come back to it in just a minute, but I'll let me show you the ones I did yesterday. I got way too much stuff. Let me move this out of the way for a second. I don't know if you can be able to see this real well. Okay, this is one I did yesterday. Let me move this over before I get purple all over it. This one I did with green. And what I did was once I got the green down, then our next step is going to be go over it with um, a pearlescent type paint. And let me get that up closer. I know you can see that pearlescent. You can still see the green through it because I use light colors of pearlescent. But in this one, and I don't know how well it's going to show, I also used a green glitter glue on top of that. I just kind of squiggled it all over and moved it around with my fingers. So we've got a shiny and glittery paper. And the back side has nothing. But I may do paint on that as well, because I can. Um, but at this point it has nothing, just the top. I also did an orange one with gold metallic, and there was a little bit of purple on it. it was left over. I was like, oh well, put shove that on there too. Nothing but the gold metallic over the orange. I also did, here's where the purple came from, I did this one that's a, a hot pink color with a purple metallic pearlescent that's see-through. It's not showing up on the camera, I don't think, that pearlescent, oh, there we go. The pink really does show through. The purple is not as pronounced as it's showing, at least on my version of the camera. That's that one. And then I did a blue one with a blue pearlescent on top. And any one of these I could add, you know, glitter glue to. Um, and these are the cheap glitter glues. I put them in a baggie. They're the cheap glitter glues that you get. Um, one, two, three, five, six, seven. There was ten in a package, two of each color. And I got these at Dollar Tree, I think. If 
I didn't get them at Dollar Tree. I got them at Walmart, and they were like around a dollar. So it was a lot cheaper than buying the... Granted, there's not a whole lot in them, but it's enough for me to play with. Because I'm not paying, you know, three, four, five dollars for a little tiny bottle of glitter stuff. I'm just not. Not in my budget. I'm doing this on the cheap for fun. This is fun to me. Anyway, I'm working on uh, some paper for uh, some journals I'm going to be working on. I wanted some unusual paper that's... I don't want to have to go buy... Um, I guess I don't have to, but I don't want to buy... And I made this one. This one's a little different. I used paper, purple on but it. I wanted some colorful and then papers. what I did was so I went and doing. started gluing just stuff out of my scrap box on it. Just bits and pieces of all kinds of stuff. Um, random pattern. N no rhyme, no reason. I just wanted so something kind of fun. And then I went over it very lightly and there's not much of it with some of the, the gold metallic pearlescent paint. Um, just a little bit here or there. I didn't use a lot. Um, and I did add a little bit of uh, glitter glue to it here and there. Again, not a lot. And there's nothing on the back. But this one came out uh, fairly uh, stiff. And so I could actually use it for a book cover if I want. Okay, now we're going to go back to the uh, purple piece that we started. And it's dry now for the most part. So we're going to add um, the metallic uh, white that I have. It's uh, by Folk Art. It's a metallic pearl white. And so we're going to use some of that. And I'm just, I'm not going to paint it all over like I did in the others. I'm going to brush it on the same way I did the purple on this one. And let's see what that ends up looking like. So again, you just dab it on a light coat of it. Um, you don't want it real thick or you'll get a glob. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's going to work good, I think. And we'll just go over the whole thing. I think this is going to look really pretty. I'm rather partial to uh, shiny and sparkly things. I guess that's the uh, bohemian, gypsy, hippie, whatever that's in me. I, I've always liked those kind of things. Um, I would have loved to have like dressed as a hippie when I was a teenager. Um, my mother wasn't going to allow that for the most part. Although I did have a fringed vest and, and some go-go boots. Um, but anyway could tell how long ago that was, huh? Yeah, I'm old. I'm having to uh, go over this section of the video because the the uh, recorder on the camera crapped out on me again. So we just go over the whole thing to, you know, you've got it covered as much as you want it covered. And you can add in other colors. You could put more than one color on, on a piece like this if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. You can, you know, if you were doing Christmas pieces, use them for wrapping paper. Do some red and some green. I do the red first and then the green. Um, otherwise, you're going to make mud. Um, but, yeah, you can about anything you want. It gives kind of a nice rock effect or kind of a leaf print effect. I think it's really cool. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this. And we're just letting it dry for a minute and I'm cleaning off my my little driver's license piece. They used to let us keep our driver's licenses. Um, I think they still do because mostly we do them by mail now. Unless you haven't had a new picture in a long time, they, they let you do it by mail. Okay, enough of that. Okay, now we're going to put some glitter glue on here. And I chose the silver. And you just drizzle it on there. Wherever you want it. 
and then you just take your finger and I'm just using one finger here um, and just spreading it around with my finger and it gives you a nice glittery effect everywhere it goes and the nice thing is that it does dry clear um, so you don't really see uh, anything that you know looks weird or blotchy or anything like that um, it just you just see the glitter you don't see the glue part of it because it dries clear and it doesn't make a big mess either um, trust me I've got glitter stuff or I've tried glitter regular glitter with you know over Mod Podge or something and it's a mess and does not give me the effect I want this is nice and flat um, probably the best thing I've used besides this I have two things I've used besides this that I like and one is that glitter spray which is exceedingly messy and smelly and you need to use it out so outdoors um, that's in a previous video with the fairy journal it does work well it does seal itself you do have to clean off the excess once it's dry it does smell you have to use it outside it's winter it's 30 some degrees I'm not doing that um, the other thing I've used is the uh, this white super fine glitter uh, that you can lay it down over top of Mod Podge once it's dry go over it again with Mod Podge and that works real well uh, regular glitter is not going to be that smooth I don't think because this is how I'm going to do my my fatty here actually I've named it mine is not going to be a fat no it's not going to be named fat by any although a lot of people call them fatty patties but people in uh, Dawn's Let's Make a Mess Today group have been naming them all kinds of things I mean this thing is just it's ridiculous so let's just open up the middle that might be the easiest way to go <laughs> this is ridiculous I'm naming mine I need something heavy to hold that side down I don't think that's going to do it nope that won't do it okay how about my bottle of bandages that might work uh, okay, maybe. let's see how well this is going to work. Maybe. Okay. All right. I'm just having trouble holding it down. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to work fine. I'm just lightly going over it with the paint. And uh, I think that's, it's given me pretty much the same effect as those that have done the, uh, stamp inks stamp pad ink um, maybe a little bit stronger color but that's okay by me I like color yeah I think this is gonna work really well and I have a huge variety of colors to choose from I mean well I have maybe 15 different colors there you go now you can see it better and you can go along the sides oh look at it look at this look at this I know some of them kinda did across the sides and it works it works the same just make sure you don't have it too loaded up with paint when you're doing that edge because they could stick together but um, yeah it's catching the end papers and that's doing real well I like that and it can it'll be a variety of colors before I'm done with it oh yeah oh I think I forgot to tell you what her name was um, I've, I've decided to call her because she's so plump um, I've decided to call her buxom Betty yep have not a clue what I'm gonna put in this book probably doesn't matter 
but I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. I had a lot of fun with uh, my previous one. I'm still not done with it. There's still blank spaces. Um, I did, before they started talking about the fatty patties, um, they were talking about doing various people work. Talking about using composition books to do en masse journals. And so that's what I, I did. I did an en masse journal. And I, I did a video on the beginnings of it. It's got a lot more stuff in it at this point. Um, because it's been cold and rainy and nasty and, and wintry. And I haven't been able to get outside and do much of anything. It's just too yucky. So I've been working on this kind of stuff. As well as some eBay and some new pendants in my other eBay store and my Etsy store. They have the same thing. I, I put them both places. Um, yeah, I'm going to like this. This is going to be fun. I think it worked out quite well. As the page closed, it got a little bit of color on the other side, but that's okay. Because it's going to have color eventually anyway. Even if it's not the same, who cares? This is fun. I like it. So, whether you're doing a fatty patty or a, a poofy something or a pudgy petunia or a, whatever you want to call her, here's an option to uh, not have to go out and buy ink pads if you don't already own some. If you've got paint of any sort, you can use that. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Maybe once I start gluing things, it'll kind of settle down. If not, it may have to be displayed like this on the table. I have no idea. But it's fun. Maybe I just have to tie a string around it. Yep, this worked quite well. I'm, I'm very happy with it. So, thanks for hanging out with me for a while today and for this little short tutorial of sorts. First time I've ever tried to do a tutorial. Um, that wasn't just, you know, like something written out with still photos. I used to do that on my blog. Um, but thanks for coming by, and we'll see you next time.